Good patient play by Gloucester, could pay off now in the wide channel. Burns, finding that man, Steph Reynolds! And for sure, for sure, for sure, that is Steph Reynolds. And it was a really well-worked try. Gloucester stayed really patient in the midfield. They could have made mistakes. They won the penalty at the breakdown, and it's a quick tap. Look at the numbers there from behind. It's a good angle. It's actually number two on two, and it requires a lot of finishing by Reynolds, but his footwork and his pace takes him out wide. It just goes to show as well, Chris Harris, who was the defender, the Newcastle defender beaten there on the, uh, on the outside, was at the other end of the field, nearly scoring a try, as we see the successful conversion there for Gloucester. Oh, he's now scored five tries in this competition, four last week. He really was brilliant. Our domestic diet. And this is Gloucester on the go again with Thomas. Cuts inside, plenty of black shirts, but Steph Reynolds offloads it quickly to Billy Burns, and the tackle almost took him over the line, but it was an, a massive tackle from Tate, and he did really well, but Gloucester still pressing. A oh, really good tackle from Tate, just when Burns was looking to get the next step, take him to the line, in he comes, look, he's almost at the line there, if he spins, that's a really good hit. Gloucester really competing now at the breakdown. That's actually a penalty, uh, sorry, Newcastle at the breakdown. That should have been a penalty, I think, to Newcastle there. Instead Hard of, done by. Sorry, as instead it was picked up by Reynolds. Burns shifts it wide. McAtee taken on by Apo Satala. And the try will be scored by Evans. Three tries last Friday. He's now got 11 over the course of those for JP Morgan, seven years. Yeah, some great footwork there. We just see, I think it's Chris Harris, the number eight's just held back here as he goes for the ball. Just coming up shortly in, in a second. I think he's just pulled back there by, by Gloucester and that, as Austin said, should have been a penalty, but Gloucester capitalized on it and found the space out wide to, uh, to extend their lead, which was converted to 14-0. This is McAtee. Gloucester borrowing the Welshman again this evening from Red Ruth, where he's going to be player coach next season. And Andrew Baluma Cow, a new name to many, as I, uh, I suspect, for Jin, who's caught Gloucester's eye playing for local side driver recently, has a try at the wreck, which will just about guarantee him free beer wherever he goes next season around the Gloucestershire County Leagues. Yeah, it was a good finish as well. I think 50% uh, yeah, his own work and a lot of the Newcastle players tired now. You watch the defence, they're slow to get across, and it's a wonderful left foot step that just completely wrong foots the defence. Also quite impressed. I mean, you know, the, Gloucester have got the experience, a little bit of the experience, as we see the try just being rounded off there, but they're making sure that the forwards end up in the middle of the park and don't get exposed out wide. It's uh, impressive enough, though. Newcastle came here with high hopes themselves, but they've been blanked. Lost the winning by 21 points to nil. Yeah, absolutely. And what was more impressive, I feel like they've got another couple of gears in there. They were very controlled. As Lawrence said, big players in the middle of the park to slow the game down to their own tempo when they need it. But then the bite and the, the pace of McAtee and others out wide to do the damage. Yeah, and I think you, you made the point at the, at the top of the game, uh, Nick, you know, the loss of, of Warren Fury and Joel Hodgson, 9 and 10, you know, really the big decision makers and the organisers in a game of sevens proved a little bit too much for Newcastle.